Hello and welcome back to part 16 of this series on Gatsby.js. If you've made it this far, well done. We're almost there. There's just a little bit left to finish and finalize this app. So in this last, in, in this, in the last video, rather, we created the pagination links, uh, that we can click and uh, navigate around the pages of our, uh, blog posts. So in this video, we're going to tackle the team page. Uh, we're going to populate this page with our authors and we're going to as well create uh, pages where we can see uh, authors posts, just like tags where we can see posts by uh, that have one tag. We're going to have uh, author posts, which is uh, going to show us the posts just by one author. So let's jump into the code. Let's maximize this, stop the develop development server, and let's commit our changes from the last video. So git add and git commit. Uh, let's say added pagination links. And let's press enter and we're done. Okay. So let's start by going to the team, team page and the title should be our team. Uh, same as the page title and here we're gonna I'm gonna hard code this since we only have two authors uh, you can come up with a way where you can just loop through the authors and uh, and uh, dynamically uh, put out their information I'm just gonna do this like uh, the, the old way for now so we're gonna have a row um, actually we're gonna have a row for the image so this will be, um, this will actually it's going to have a margin because, um, otherwise they're going to be, uh, linked together because row by default doesn't have a margin. So let's give this an MB4 and inside of this, um, I'm going to have a dot call dot MD. I'm not going to use call. I'm just going to use, um, traditional bootstrap class names and here. I'm going to have image with the source, which we haven't brought in yet, uh, John image. So we're starting with John and later we'll do Jane. And this image will have an inline style of max with 100% because if we don't give this, if we go to a really small screen, this image will be bigger than the div that contains it, which is not cool. Uh, let's give this an alternate of, uh, uh, John profile. Let's close this tag and uh, let's actually bring in a couple of things. Let's bring in, let's bring in authors. So, um, authors from go back one level to util, util slash authors. And um, let's bring in, let's bring in a couple of things from React Strap. We're gonna use cards. So, card. Uh, card um, text, uh, oops, uh, card body, card title. Um, we're gonna have button, so button, and let's do from React strap. Um, we're gonna need the images for our authors, so import John image from dot dot uh, images slash john dot jpeg so same thing for jane that would be um, here which place jane but here it's like lower okay it's jane j we're gonna need slugify so slugify from um dot dot util slash utility functions and oh the row um let's bring in the row it's gonna go here row button goes before card and uh, yeah okay let's finish let's finish this so after after this div actually we're gonna have a div so um uh, we're gonna have a div of eight, so call dash md dash 
8 and inside of here we're gonna have a card this is gonna have as well as an inline style of um, we're gonna give it a minimum height of 100% and let's close this card inside of here we're gonna have a card body as per usual do we bring in card body? Yes, we did card body. And I'm gonna have the card title. And that will give, uh, that will have the uh, John's name, so authors, um, authors zero. Like I said, this is gonna be hard coded. Name. And we're gonna have the bio as card text. And it's going to be authors zero, oops, zero dot bio. And now we need the button that uh, takes us to the author page, which we haven't created yet. Uh, this button is going to have, actually, it doesn't have a class, it's going to have a color of primary. And it's gonna have an href of um, slash author slash uh, slugify slugify our um, authors zero dot name, which is just John. Could have hard coded this actually and just wrote John dash uh, doe but let's just do that view uh, it's gonna say view posts I should just give it a class of text uppercase class name text uppercase like the rest of our buttons in our um, in our application and let's copy all of this let's paste it and do the same for Jane so this is gonna be Jane Jane image uh, this is going to be authors one, one, and one. I uh, think this should be fine. So let's save and run Gatsby develop. Let's see what this page looks like. This item actually should be Jane profile. Save. Once it's done building, we're going to we're gonna check out this page and see what it looks like. Actually, um, mm, we have a problem. Cannot resolve Jane.jpg because from images. Yes, okay. Uh, if we go to team, there we go. We get John Doe and Jane Doe, the picture facing the div, and if we click it on John Doe, it goes to slash author slash John Doe. Same thing for Jane. Now we need to create these pages where we can see the posts by these authors. So let's do that. Uh, before we create that template, or let's just create the file. So let's call this uh, author dash posts dot JavaScript JS. Let's go to node. Let's Copy this and paste it, and let's call this author posts. And this goes to author dash posts dot um, dot js. And here at the bottom, uh, after this create, actually after this loop, uh, we're gonna do. Did we did we bring in authors here? Yes, we did. So, oops. So here we're gonna do authors dot for each, and for each author, author, we are gonna create a page. Create page. Just gonna have a path of uh, backticks um, slash author, like we actually put in the team page, and then we're gonna slugify the name of the author. Uh, author dot name and takes a component which we just brought in templates dot um, author posts and it's gonna take a context and this will have the author name 
um, author name, so author dot name, and it's gonna have image URL um, author dot uh, image um, image URL, and uh, the reason why is that we want to have a page like like the post pages. So we're gonna have the uh, the details of the author in the sidebar and as well the post they posted. So we're gonna use this name to fetch the the posts that this author posted and we're gonna use the image URL to fetch their image. So let's go to um, uh, this new template that we just created and let's bring in a couple of things. So React from React, uh, layout, from one level back, components slash layout. We need to bring in post, import post from one level back, components slash post. We need to bring in GraphQL from GraphQL from Gatsby and import like this. And we need authors, import authors from go back one level util slash authors and let's do const author um, posts equals and it's gonna from the props we're gonna get data from our query and page context which we passed in node.js I mean node um, Gatsby node and let's export that export default oops default um, authors posts and let's export the query export const um, what do we call this author query it doesn't really matter but let's just, just name it something that we can remember something that makes sense because that's always good practice clean code so query we don't have to give this a name so let's do author it takes author name. What is the author name? Yeah, author name we passed, which is a string and an image URL. Again, dollar sign, like PHP if you've used that before. String exclamation mark to uh, indicate that this is required. The query will fetch from all markdown remark. And we're gonna sort by fields, and the field will be front matter triple underscore not name date. Um, we're gonna give an order of descending, and we need a filter as well. So filter. And we're gonna filter property inside of front matter, and that property is the author, and it needs to be equal to author name. And that's how we get the um, posts posted only by this author. So after that, those parentheses, let's get total count, because we need to show that. Edges inside of that we get our node inside of that we get our ID and then front matter the usual stuff really title um, date format string to this um, no not no parentheses colon and let's do m m m m do y y y y uh, the author the tags, um, the image, thumbnail image, child image, sharp, and get the fluid inside of that, max width of 650, and we spread Gatsby, um, image, sharp, fluid, and Outside of the front matter, we need fields, we need to get slug from fields, a glug slug, and we need to get except. Now, 
accept did I spell that correctly accept yes now we're not done here we need another query on top of this so it's gonna be yes here and we need to get the image of the author so let's do file and this will take a relative um, relative path and this would be equal uh, equal to image URL which we passed from um, from node Gatsby node and we'll take the child image sharp property and inside of that the fluid we'll pass that max width of uh, 300 and we'll get Gatsby image sharp fluid from there and we're done with the query so let's populate the page itself here we're gonna have let's pull out the total count so con, uh, const rather total count uh, from I mean equal means from data dot all all markdown remark all markdown remark yes because we have more than one post so all markdown remark and um, we need to get the author so const author equals authors we could have passed the whole object but it's fine we can just find it again so find x where x dot name equals um, page uh, context dot uh, author name and we, now we have our author let's form our page header so which is the title page header equals uh, literal literal template string or whatever backticks <laughs> total counts total count uh, and then we we'll do posts by I'm not gonna bother with the s thing so even if it's one it's okay one posts <laughs> uh, you can just copy the code from the other uh, from the text page if you wish to do that page context dot author name so it's gonna be like I don't know five posts by Jane Doe 15 posts by John Doe uh, so on and so forth so return layout and we're gonna pass the title which is the page header and because we want to show uh, the image of the thing of the author we're gonna uh, pass post author I know it's called post author but it doesn't really matter it's just gonna show it doesn't say post author it's just gonna show the author details uh, so the naming doesn't really uh, it's not a, it's not a problem as long as we understand what this signifies so um, author image fluid will be uh, data dot file dot um, child image uh, sharp dot fluid and let's close this layout I don't know why it's behaving like that but it's okay and inside the layout we're gonna loop through the post so data dot um, all markdown remark dot edges dot map and from each edge we're gonna get the node and for each node we're gonna return a post to bring yeah bro post so key let's just copy this from here it's the same thing really let's go back here so post so yeah the key the slug the title the author the date the body the tags the fluid cool so we should be done let's stop the server let's save all the files and let's start the server again and this should now when we click on view posts in the team page we should see the posts for um, our respective authors and did we not did we not export this authors author posts yep let's go again and it compiles and if we go to team we we'll go to John Doe we, and there we go we get two posts by John Doe and 
there they are and if we click on uh, view posts from Jane Doe we get one post by Jane Doe one posts just pretend this doesn't have an S <laughs> and we get the, the details on the side and there we go so we are pretty much we are done not pretty much we are done with the application uh, we finish all the, the functionality and uh, yeah so this is everything I hope you guys learned a lot I hope you really like Gatsby and like my tutorials of course why wouldn't you they're amazing and um, please like and subscribe that would mean the world to me and any criticism feedback praise uh, commentary error problem anything you feel like saying uh, feel free to uh, comment in the comment section and uh, by the way i'm gonna do one more video after this one that's gonna be uh, deploying this so uh, we're gonna deploy this uh, live on a service called Netlify, which is really, really cool. And it's so much easier than you think. It's gonna be easy, we're gonna deploy it, and it's gonna be live on the internet for other people to see. So look forward to that as well. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next and final video in this series. Bye.